Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and on this one I'm going to be showing you the best build for Chestnut for raids on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now Chestnut is just out this weekend and next weekend for raids. You will have to beat him in a 7 star raid to obtain him, or you can get him through trade. If you do get him in the raid, he will be a rock type terror, so what I want you to do is come to Medali, and we're going to be going to the treasure eatery. And we'll just be changing his terror type here and you will just click grass terror shards you will need 50 of them because we're going to be running a grass type terror grass isn't the only type we're going to be using now i did a few tests with this build finally found the one that's going to work the best because this pokemon is very diverse now if you enjoy builds like this make sure to subscribe turn that notification bell on so you don't miss another video there's plenty more where that came from and if you want to join the discord for extra help you want to come chill or anything like that link will be in the description It'd be amazing to see you over there let's continue with the build so like i said grass type terror it's going to be the best terror for us because of her ability which we will get more into later we're going to be holding the held item shell bell every time we inflict damage on our opponent an eighth or 12.8 percent of that damage will come back to us as health and that will keep us alive because this build does a ton of damage while also being pretty bulky at the same time let me show you where to get the shell bell so to get the shell bell what we're going to do is we're going to fly over to lavincia north and we're going to be visiting the deli bro shop in lavincia clicking battle items scrolling down and you'll find it for twenty thousand poker dollars equip that onto your chest now now you've done that we're going to be getting into the nature to change your nature you can buy mints from any chance supply shop so this shop right here and then you want to make sure you have an adamant mint so they are twenty thousand poker dollars it increases our attack and reduces our special attack we only have physical attacking moves because we are not a special attacker so go ahead and buy that and just use it on your chestnut so as you can see there, open attack down in special attack. Our EVs are going to go into HP and attack. Pretty standard really, HP for survivability, attack for damage. To get your EV items, just come back in the Chansey Supply Shop. You will need to use 26 HP ups and 26 proteins, HP ups for HP, protein for attack. This will cost you 520,000 poker dollars, so it's quite expensive. And if you don't quite have that money, there is a way you can EV train your whole party at the same time. Let me show you that. It'll be a lot cheaper. And if you have a Pokemon that can take out all the pokemon you'll be taking out and then the other five are getting ev trained you can save yourself over 2.5 million poker dollars so it's very useful so just go to any daily bird shop click on general goods go to the bottom there'll be your power items these will help you ev train your pokemon by a power weight and a power bracer in this scenario because we're training hp and attack every time you actually take out a pokemon and there's a pokemon in your party with one of these items on it will give you eight extra evs so you will get nine in totals for like a lechonk for example because that will be plus one in hp but it'll actually go to plus nine so let me show you where we're going to do the ev training so for the hp what i want you to do is put a waypoint right here fly over to the lighthouse and just make your way over now just before we get to the place that I uh, put a waypoint on, you will find some green grass right here. You can actually find the chunk here, you can take them out if you really want to, but what I like to do is come down to where this water area is, use a fairy type level 2 sandwich, and just take out the Azuril in this area. You will find tons of them once you use the sandwich. Now we're going to need to take out 28 of these. If you're going to be doing it this way, I would suggest getting a Persian, equipping the amulet coin onto it, teaching it payday, use PP up on payday twice, it'll go to 28, and 28 is the number Number exactly what we need to kill so take out 28 of them and when the payday reaches zero you know you have a max out ev and you will also get a thousand poker dollars every time you take out a pokemon so let's move on to the actual attack for the attack we're going to be going over to south province area three pokemon that give attack evs here are going to be shinx young goose and growlithe but what you want to do is use an electric type level 2 sandwich and just get loads of shinx to spawn because tons of them will spawn after you use this sandwich and then you'll just take out 28 of any of those pokemon and you'll get your max evs in attack as well now moving on to the ivs to check your ivs go on your main menu click on boxes Hover over your chestnut and on the right hand side you can see its moves and its stats. Click the plus button, it'll go to IVs and because I caught this in the raid it came with max IVs and everything. As you can see, best on everything. If it doesn't say best on everything because you breeded it or you got it from a trade, just check how many max IVs you actually need and then we can go visit a deli bro shop. 
So once you get to your Deli Bro shop, just go inside, click on general goods. First item will be the bottle cap. One bottle cap equals one max IV. So just see how many you need and then just buy however many you need. And then we're going to be flying over to Montenegro. So I'll just fly over there. And we're going to be speaking to the person next to the Obama Snow. He will hyper train your Pokemon. Now, because my chestnut has max IVs and everything, I can't actually click it and it shows the menu. So I'm going to use Luxray for an example. You want to choose your Pokemon, click on battle caps, click HP, defense, special defense, speed and attack, and then click start the training. You want to leave special attack, we don't need it. And then you'll have the correct nature, max IVs and EVs, and have the maximum chance of winning those raids. And we can move on to the ability. Now, if you cart this Pokemon in the raid, you will actually get an ability patch in that raid, and you will have the ability Bulletproof. Now, if you choose to go with a fighting type terror for this Pokemon, keep Bulletproof on your Pokemon. Or if you're setting up a type that's anything except grass, grass type, you probably want to keep Bulletproof. But if you're setting up a grass type, you uh, want to actually use an ability patch on your Pokemon and it will change back to its original ability, which is going to be Overgrow. And every time we're on a third health or lower, what's going to happen is our grass type moves are going to go through the roof. They're going to be 50% more powerful and we're going to do a ton of damage. Now, as for our moves, we've got Seed Bomb, a Belly Drum, Drain Punch, and Wood Hammer. That's right, this Pokemon can learn Belly Drum. Insane move. As long as you're careful with who you're fighting, you don't want to face a Pokemon that can take off over half of your actual health in one shot. So Seed Bomb is going to be our main grass type move. It's going to be really powerful. 80 power, 100 accuracy. It's amazing. Belly Drum, this will maximize our attack, but we'll lose half our max HP. Drain Punch, really strong move. We, we're actually going to use this before we terrestrialize just to get health back. And I've put Wood Hammer there just in case you want to... Go for the one shot, try it out. I wouldn't recommend it because his attack's not crazy, crazy high. But I've put it there just in case you want to. If you don't want to, then I would suggest changing it out for something like Earthquake or, or just Leech Seed or something like that. Now, Wood Hammer and Seed Bomb, you can learn through level up. So once you get to level 100, or if you caught it at level 100 anyway, just relearn these two moves and you'll be fine getting those two. The other two, however, are a bit more tricky. Drain Punch is a TM, Belly Drum is an Egg move. So we'll go over Drain Punch first. So to get Drain Punch, come to the any pet Pokemon Center, go to the green section, it's the TM machine. Go over to the fighting section, it's going to be TM73, it's going to cost 5 Krogunk Poison, 3 Mankey Fur, and 3 Crabrawler Shells. Don't worry, I will show you where to get all of these right now. We're going to start off with the Krogunk, so we're going to be coming around this area on the map. So fly over to South Province Area 5 or just somewhere nearby. And we're just going to be crossing this little marshy area because you can find them here as well. And if you do see one here, then just take it out. If you don't see one when you get to the end, don't worry about it. Just climb the little cliff right here. And here you can find mankeys. Take those out, get your mankey fur. And then you want to climb this cliff that's right next to it that leads up to this little bit of water that we did mark. And this is where I tend to find quite a few Krogunks. Like I find them more often than I do in the swamp anyway, which is kind of strange. So we're just going to be searching around this area, the general location, to try and get our Krogunks. If it doesn't appear after a little bit, just use a sandwich. Or you can use a fighting type sandwich to get all three of these Pokemon. So we found one almost straight away, so we're just going to take that out. And that will get us our Krogunk poison. Moving on to the Crabrawler shells, if we go up from here, and we're going to be going to this island right here. So fly over to East Province Area 3 Rest Stop. And then we're just going to be going to this little island right here. Once you get to the island, you'll find them straight away and you just want to take them out and you'll get that Crabrawler shell. And then we can move on to the egg move. For the egg move, I want you to make sure you have a Pokemon in your party with Belly Drum. So mine's going to be Iron Hands, as you can see right there. It has Belly Drum. Next step, we're going to need to go to a certain place. And that place is going to be Cascarafa North. And then we're just going to be heading to the Deli Bro Shop, clicking on Battle Items, scrolling down about halfway, and you'll find your Mirror Herb. Go ahead and buy that, it'll cost you 30,000. And then you want to equip it onto your actual chestnut, and make sure you have three or less moves, because if you have four moves, this won't work. You need an empty slot. So you would give your Mirror Herb to your chestnut, you would have a Pokemon with Belly Drum in the party. You would go into a Pitnik, wait 5 or 10 seconds, come out of the Pitnik, and your Chestnut will have Belly Drum. It's as simple as that. And that will be the full build, and then we can get into some raids. Smash the like button if you're enjoying this video so far. Now let's get into those raids. So for the first raid, we have a 6-star Water-type Dragalga. We are weak to it because it's poison, but we're going to see how it goes anyway. Let's start it up. So first turn, we're going to use Belly Drum. This will maximize our attack. It does use Toxic, which is not very good. And now we're just going to use Seed Bomb, see how much damage we do. Hopefully we get back to full health. We don't do too much damage. We don't get back to full health, which is unfortunate. He's going to use Sludge Bomb here. 
He does do a lot of damage to us. He then uses Draco Meteor, but that's fine. That just lowers his special attack. Hopefully we don't die from the poison here. We are on five health, amazing. Now we can heal up. There's a 25% chance he could have hit us with that Draco Meteor, so that was a bit unlucky. But we do get quite a decent heal. It does make up for it. He uses Water Pulse on us. Hopefully it doesn't confuse us. Now we're going to use Seed Bomb again. It does a lot of damage, as you can see. It wasn't a crit either. And we go back to full health. It does heal us with a Toxic again. And then the shield goes up. Hopefully he doesn't nullify here. He steals some of our Terra Chad, which is pretty bad. Then removes negative effects from himself. Then uses Draco Meteor again. It doesn't actually hit us this time, though. We're going to use Seed Bomb again. Let's see how much damage it does, even though the shield is up. Not too much kind of figured it wouldn't do that much we're gonna have to use it one more time because it stole some of our terror charge i'm just hoping it doesn't nullify us because it usually nullifies when it gets into the red it's gonna use water pulse again get hurt more and more each round because of this toxic and it didn't nullify us so that's the raid finished we're gonna terrestrialize and finish it off with a seed bomb now if we was in a really bad situation we can use drain punch instead of seed bomb until we get our terrestrialize it will do a lot of damage because it is still a stab and we finish the Dragalga off with a Seed Bomb and that raid's over and we go back to full health. The Dragalga goes down and that's the first raid done. We even get a bit of Herba Mystica. Let's move on to the second raid. So for our second raid, we run into a six star rock type in Churchin. Let's get straight into it. Now, if you wanted this uh, actual build to be really scummy, you could change it to Terra to fighting type and just spam Drain Punch after you use Ellie Drum. So just spam Drain Punch all raid. You have really good physical defense. So against physical attackers, you would be unstoppable and eventually you would win the raid. And it's not much of a difference between this build, except for when you get to a third health or lower. So we're gonna start this off with a Belly Drum. I'm guessing he's gonna either try to paralyze us or hit us with a big move. He's gonna try and hit us with thunder but he does miss because it's a 70 percent accuracy move and now we're gonna use drain punch i'm just gonna show you what i mean so drain punch look it still does a ton of damage and we'll go back up to full health guaranteed just because drain punch restores 50 percent of the damage we do as well as uh, the actual shell bell on top of that you wouldn't need the shell bell if you had drain punch you could go with metronome and do more damage that way but i wanted to make use of his actual ability so i've done it this way we might as well use drain punch again if you're against rock types especially because grass types and fighting types are super effective against rock types you work especially well against these pokemon because you can drain punch until you can terrestrialize and then after you terrestrialize you can start using seed bomb then because you will do a ton of damage we're just going to use drain punch again he hits us with another thunder it's doing like 100 damage most at the minute we're going to terrestrialize here and use seed bomb here comes the seed bomb i'm hoping it does over half of the shield at least it does nearly all of the shield that's amazing and we get back to full health of course now in that first raid we was actually actually weak against dragalga so that should just prove how strong this build actually is let's see if we can finish off with this attack we use seed bomb again i know it's going to break the shield i don't know whether it's going to ko though it does ko that's amazing we have tons of time left it's a critical hit the pin churching goes down just as easy as that fortunately we didn't get any mystica this time but let's move on to the third raid so for our third raid we have a six star ground type mimikyu let's get straight into it so it hits us with a play rough which is super effective we're gonna start off with a belly drum we have really high defense so i'm pretty sure we can survive another attack the mimikyu's disguise drops we're gonna go with a seed bomb we do a lot of damage as you can see and we're gonna go back to full health off that i would imagine yes gonna use play rough again that's why i love this chestnut so much it's not only really strong attacking wise because of the belly drum it's got like 122 base defense so against those physical attackers it's just an animal he's an animal oh i was gonna try and finish him off with a wood hammer if uh, the shield didn't go up we're just gonna use seed bomb again so his play roughs are stronger now because his actual uh, misty terrain is up he drops our attack with that uh, play rough that he just used so we're only on plus five now we're not on plus six still doing a lot of damage and we're not even terrestrialized yet use his player if again we avoid that one it does only have 90 percent accuracy i believe and now we can terrestrialize use seed bomb and do a ton of damage to that shield probably break it 
if not very close that I keep forgetting that he did drop our attack by one stage. Let's see how much damage we do after the terrestrialize. We break the shield. We do a lot of damage actually, more than I thought he would do. Go back, up, go back up to full health and this raid's pretty much over. There's the shield breaking. He uses play rough, he misses again because we are just, we're just too good. That's why he missed. When he used his play rough, like he jumped at us to do it. We showed him one of our spikes. He just ran away, he didn't miss. We're gonna use seed bomb, finish it off now. And ba-boom, Mimikyu goes down. Don't get to even make use of that Sars dance it just used. And it's as easy as that. Guys, this chestnut is actually insane. It's so strong, highly recommend building it. No Mystica, boo. Boo for you, Mimikyu. Now go make your chestnut right now. If you are struggling to defeat this seven star chestnut, I will put a video on screen right now, which will help you to do that. It will make the raid just really easy and you can get your hands on this build. It's incredible. I'll see you on the next one.